Hey, future first graders, are you ready to fly into first grade? Okay, let's get ready to sing our month of the year song. Get ready. January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. Cha cha cha. Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Hipsters, my turn first, then your turn. Today is Thursday, May 28, 2020, your turn today. Great job. All right, Kipsters, say how many days, how many days? Okay, yesterday we learned that we were growing our brains at home for 51 days. So we need to add one more day. And now we are at 52. Yes, so let's count to double check how many days. Let's count by tens and then switch by ones. Get ready, 10. 20, 30, 40, 50, 51, 52. Whoa, the kids is 52 days. And 52 is one, two, three, four, five, five tens, and one, two, two ones. 52 is five tens and two ones. Yes. Now, Kipsters, I want to know. If you still know how to count, say, ah uh ah -huh, uh -huh. oh yeah, oh yeah, I can count, I can count, by ones, by ones, to 20, to 20. Get ready, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now, Kipsters, let's count backwards from 20. Get ready. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one. Whew. And now, Kipsters, I know that good counters can start counting from any number by once. So we're going to start counting from the number 52 by once. Get ready. 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. Whew. That was a lot of counting capsules. All right, now capsules, get your piece of paper and your something to write with so that we can keep learning and number corner. Do I look like I'm flying into first grade with you guys? Okay, all right, you guys ready to learn? Okay, hmm, we're gonna keep working on time today, Kipsters. And if time is tricky for you guys, I want to encourage you to watch um, my videos more so that you can get better at telling time. So, on here it says, what time is dinner time? And Kipsters, if this is not your dinner time, that's okay. I just use the guess of like what time I would think like people eat dinner. So what time is dinner time? Kipsters, remember, 
the small hand is the hour. The small hand is the hour. And the long hand is the minute. The long hand is the minute. Okay, so Kipsters, I want to know, what time do we eat dinner? Hmm. What is the hour and what is the minute? So what I'm gonna do, Kipsters, is I'm gonna look at the small hand to see what number is the small hand pointing to. If you said six, you are correct. And then let's look at the long hand. And the long hand is pointing to o'clock. Say o'clock, o'clock. So I know how to read this time. I'm gonna say, Six o'clock. Say it. Six o'clock. All right. If you wrote down six o'clock, give yourself a check. Say check. Check. If you didn't write down six o'clock, I want you to write down six o'clock, okay? All right. Yep. Six and then dot dot zero zero. Like this. I learned something neat the other day you guys is that Miss Bloom can write on here so it would say six dot dot o'clock six o'clock if you wrote it like that you did a good job okay let me clear this and let's move on to our next one Hmm. What time do you go to bed? Kipsters, what time do some of you go to bed? I bet pretty late now that you can sleep in. I know, so silly. Miss Bloom still goes to bed at the same time every day like we were in school. I know, I can't stay up late like you guys. All right, so this says, what time do you go to bed? So Kipsters, look at the small hand for the hour and look at the long hand for the minute. And I want you to write it down. I'm gonna write it down too. I know, and I hope some of you have already started writing this down. I know that the small hand is pointing to the eight. And then I know that the long hand is pointing to the six, which gives us the 30 minutes. So I know that it is eight, because that's my hour. Eight is my hour. Eight. Thirty. Eight. Thirty. If you wrote that down, give yourself a check. I'm going to give myself a check. If you didn't write that down, I want you to write that down and read this time as 8.30. Say 8.30. All right, let's check our work. Oh. See, we are right. 8.30. Say 8.30. All right. Hmm. And what time do you wake up? Miss Bloom wakes up way before this time. I know. You guys probably wake up way later than this time. Ah, so late. I wish I could sleep in late, but I am an early bird, and they always say the early bird gets the worm. So I am always up early so that I can be ready to teach you guys. All right, so let's write down what is the hour and what is the minute. I'm gonna get my pencil ready so I can write down my hour and minute. Okay. I'm gonna look at the hour, and the hour hand is pointing to that number, which is seven. And then I make my dots. And then the minute has two zeros, which we say o'clock. Say o'clock. O'clock. All right. So how would we read this? Yes, we will read this as seven o'clock. Say it, seven o'clock. 
Yes, because the small hand is pointing to the seven and the big hand is pointing to the 12, which we know is that is zero minutes. How many minutes? Zero minutes. All right. Let's see if we are correct. See, seven o'clock. And that was all that we had for today. Kipsters, I want to know how much you have learned about clocks with Ms. Bloom and number corners. So make sure you send pictures to your teachers because then they share the pictures with me and I get to see it. All right, you guys have a good weekend. I miss and love you guys so, so much. Bye.